All right, I'm up in the upper garden recording. Wait, I gotta show this. So look at these stupid dogs. Okay, this one's running around. They love barking up this tree because there's squirrels. Always. All right, so I'm gonna show this. This is the tree that was cut down. But this tree has come up. So I've got this gorgeous tree here. It's pretty cool. I haven't used this. I really need to spend more time with this tree anyway. So I do this live stream on Thursday nights and uh, it, we get a pretty good discussion normally. And this week we got this weird situation where we were talking about uh, the McDonald's here in Leon and uh, someone mistakenly said that they had frozen yogurt and we're just ta discussing this and I'm like, you, you don't mean they have frozen yogurt, right? Yeah, yeah, no, they have frozen yogurt. And, and, but she described it as a place in front of McDonald's. And so basically she said that there was a yogurt cart in front of McDonald's and that it was, they served frozen yogurt and it was really good. And this guy jumped on who claimed he's local and is going on and on about how great this frozen yogurt is and this cart in front of McDonald's and, and the country's famous for this frozen yogurt and just going really like all into this story. And I live really close to this. So I'm like, I, something's wrong. There's nothing in front of McDonald's. And so I started thinking about it and looking at what was said. And I said, and I know the person who, who misspoke and I said, do you mean that the front of, not in front of, but the front portion of the McDonald's is the ice cream area where they're selling ice cream, not frozen yogurt? And one of the reasons that I was so incredulous that there was this frozen yogurt thing is that we don't have frozen yogurt anywhere in the country. Like, that's not entirely true, but it's really close to being true. It's a country without frozen yogurt. It really doesn't exist here. Um, no one even knows what it is. And it turns out that's part of the problem. People have been calling soft serve frozen yogurt here because no one knows what frozen yogurt is is because it doesn't exist at all and so people are just calling it that because they see u.s television and they see people getting so getting frozen yogurt and they imagine that that's what soft serve is because it's the only thing they see and they don't really see soft serve here i only know three or four places that have it and they're all in like managua and mcdonald's so for mcdonald's to have soft serve you can see where people make this leap and call it frozen yogurt oh my gosh the dogs are nuts there must be a squirrel up in the uh the palm tree anyway and uh so this guy's like all in on how Nicaragua was famous for its frozen yogurt and how there's this cart out front of McDonald's. And then he completely ignores or misses. It seems like he misses that we figured out all of this was incorrect. There's definitely nothing in front of McDonald's. In fact, I know they just redid the street. It's got trees in front of it. There's no way there's a cart there. And there's no way McDonald's is going to allow there to be a cart in front of them. And that it's not frozen yogurt, that it's soft serve ice cream. And we went on their website and verified all of this. And she said, oh, yeah, no, that's what I'm describing. I just said it wrong. Right. So like we figured all that out really quickly. And this guy just went on about how great Nicaragua is for, for frozen yogurt. And we're like, wait a minute. I don't even think there are any. We started looking at maps and every single Froyo place that used to exist has closed down. Now, someone did point out they think one has opened up in Granada on the Calzada. And we actually managed to find one elsewhere in Leon that I've never seen open, but we did find a sign. Um, so maybe it exists, but someone did point it out. We're like, look what we found on the street. So it's not that it doesn't exist, but we don't, none of those places are confirmed to actually sell frozen yogurt they easily are just lying about it because people don't know what it is. But needless to say, we don't really have frozen yogurt. And so this led to a discussion that I said, well, I felt really confident that we didn't have it because anything like that that we have has to be imported. We import all of our ice cream. We import all of our yogurt. We import any soft serve. All that's imported because we don't make it in country. That's not 100% true. Like there are places that manage to get cream and do really small batches like Kiss Me here in, um, in Leon is a little tiny ice cream shop where they make the ice cream in the shop and they pay a premium to get the cream. And that's fine. That's fine. But like in stores... The only thing of any of this category that's available made in country is one really limited, super watery yogurt that is from a Mexican company, but they make it here. Um, and, and so the whole issue is, and everyone on the, on the show was aware of this, the issue is that it's really hot here and we don't produce cream in our dairy. We produce dairy and lots of beef, but it's all drinking milk. We don't produce the cream in high enough quantities and quality to make it make sense. So we import the majority of our dairy from Costa Rica and a small amount from El Salvador because they have cooler climates and, and larger dairy production. And they're making really high quality yogurts and ice creams there partially because they make them for us as well. I've got a lot of bugs out here when I'm in the yard. And uh, so because it really increases the size of their market, in many ways, this is good. 
that Costa Rica is able to, for example, nearly all ice cream sold in Nicaragua is from Costa Rica because Costa Rica is able to produce a much larger volume because we're the bigger country, but we don't have the cream. So a country of five and a half million is producing the ice cream for a country of seven million plus itself. So they've got an overall market because I'm sure they sell some other places too, of at least 13 million people to sell to, which makes them able to make much higher quality products and more variety and such. And so all the ice cream places here are selling Dos Pinos from Costa Rica. And that's where we get our butter from as well. You can get locally made butter, but the quality is way lower. Like you really do, if you can afford it, you want Costa Rican butter, it's worth the import. And it's not that bad, right? Cause it's like importing from one state away. Like it's only a few hours, but it does have an import price. So we're all buying that. We're all, if you live here, if you have any familiarity with living in Nicaragua and you eat any kind of dairy, you are really aware that everything is coming in import unless you don't know who these brands are and just think it's more expensive. But it's well known, and we've talked about it a lot on the show, on my, on my Nicaragua show, about why there's no dairy here, why there's no cream dairy here, there's plenty of dairy, why there's no cream made with the dairies here, and why all those products are brought in from Costa Rica. We also have gone into in-depth how what we do have here, which is made from a company called Alaska, which is actually a division. It's owned by Lala out of uh, Mexico. And they own, Lala owns Alaska. Alaska makes a thing called Eskimo ice cream. So here, everyone just says ice cream, they mean Eskimo ice cream. And you go to the store and it's everywhere. But Eskimo ice cream is a universal term. Universal. If you look up Eskimo ice cream, it's going to say not a company that makes ice cream in Nicaragua. It's going to say Eskimo ice cream is a type of frozen treat made from vegetable or animal fat instead of milk cream, dairy cream, made famous, I guess, by Eskimos with whale blubber. So it's often flavored with berries, whatever. It is specifically a non-dairy, not ice cream. It can't be ice cream if it's Eskimo ice cream. Eskimo ice cream means not ice cream, right? <laughs> so like imitation vanilla, it can't be vanilla and be imitation vanilla. It has to be one or the other. You can't be Eskimo ice cream and be ice cream. They are diametrically opposed. They replace the cream. So here, people eat Eskimo ice cream all the time because it's what we can do. And it's made with, thankfully, vegetables here. So they take vegetable oil and they do something and they whip it and they make it creamy and it works just fine. It's really not bad. In fact, in some cases, it's pretty good. So not a complaint. And it might actually be healthier. It's definitely cheaper and it's definitely able to handle the heat better. And so it works out really well. So the local treats are Raspados, which is just shaved ice. No one confuses that with ice cream or Eskimo ice cream, which people do confuse with ice cream, but it's definitely not dairy. And it's super clear. The product everywhere says Eskimo ice cream. It is beyond clear that it's Eskimo ice cream. It also, in case you don't know what Eskimo ice cream is, says right on it, a vegetable oil product, right on the front, not on the back, not hidden, right on it so you know it's not dairy cream. You really can't miss this unless you are completely ignoring it. It's raining on me, by the way. And uh, it's a gorgeous afternoon, this is really nice. And uh, so this is just, so this guy doubles down and says, I'm completely crazy. And a whole bunch of the people around the channel live here and are like, what is he talking about? He starts going on and on about how Nicaragua not only produces loads of cream, loads of dairy, that all the ice cream in the region, all of it, and all the dairy in the region is made in Nicaragua. Okay, I gotta get out of the yard. It is really raining on me all of a sudden. So he starts saying that everything is made in Nicaragua and not in the neighboring countries. And then when people start proving that, you know, they're pulling dairy production numbers, they're showing links to sites that show where stuff is made and what's, what's being shipped in, he starts saying, well, they don't actually make any of the dairy there. No, no, no. Nicaragua makes all the dairy for the region, which we showed was not true. Costa Rica makes more dairy overall per capita than Nicaragua, just for dairy in general, let alone the whole cream thing, which he never even addressed. He said that the stores are completely full of Nicaragua dairy products, of, of dairy cream products, specifically ice cream and frozen yogurt. There is no frozen yogurt sold anywhere in the country, just not sold. You can't go to the grocery store and buy frozen yogurt. You can't do that. And you can't go to the grocery store and buy a Nicaraguan yogurt, except for that one plum flavored Lala. Everything, everything is from another country. And... 
And he's just going on and on about how the stores are stocked with these things that don't exist. And then he starts giving a bunch of names of companies. None of them, okay, we're dry right here. We might be okay. None of the companies he mentioned make ice cream or yogurt or frozen yogurt. And none of them were Nicaraguan. He just started throwing out names. And some of them do exist in Nicaragua, but they're Mexican companies. But none of them make the products he was talking about. It was crazy. He just like, he tripled, quadrupled down on the dumbest, most obviously untrue claim. And every piece of it was completely insane. <coughs> he claimed that there was dairies making high cream milk here based on nothing. I don't know where he made this up, but he was so convinced. He, was, he made up that all the bordering countries with cooler weather didn't have cows. He made up, he, oh, he claimed, I think I missed this, that since they, they said their country names on those products, Nicaragua was shipping the cream to their countries. They were making the products and shipping it back. That would be beyond insane. One of the reasons that they ship the finished products around here is because shipping untreated cream around is really expensive and it goes bad really quickly. But once you make it into ice cream, you just keep it frozen and then it, it's much more stable. So he, like... None of it made any sense. Really basic stuff. And this guy's a doctor, an American doctor, making these claims. Like anybody with any high school education should have been able to stop and go, oh, wait, logically, none of this makes sense. The heat thing, the dairy thing, like these are all just easily explainable. It's easy to look at the shelves, go to any grocery store and know <laughs> the rain keeps coming and going. Look at, go to the grocery store and look at the shelves and know that there's no Nicaraguan made products. There's no such thing as a Nicaraguan ice cream. There's no such thing as a Nicaraguan frozen yogurt. And there's this one really limited Mexican-owned me Nicaraguan manufactured watery yogurt. It's okay, but it's awfully watery. And no Greek yogurt made here. And it was just, and everyone, and then the guy just, he got really frustrated and, and left the channel. And everyone on the, on the show is like, what is wrong with this guy? This is mostly my rant about that. I just I did, wanted to unload the, the, the stupidity of the entire thing. Every single step was just abject nuts. The same guy had been arguing and arguing and arguing that he wanted to move to Nicaragua to be a doctor where they make like four to $800 a month, but claimed, and so he has the challenge that he's not certified to be a doctor in Nicaragua, but he's currently certified to be a doctor in the United States. So in theory, he's making several hundred thousand dollars a year in the U.S. He could do any number of things to make quite a lot of money as a full MD in the U.S. But he claimed that he wanted to and claims that every single person he speaks to should be allowed to come and take Nicaraguan jobs and should want to, even if they're only making two or three hundred dollars a month. Even if they can make tons of money some other way, they should want to work in Nicaragua and take a Nicaraguan's job. Like every single post he has is nuts. Like this is an American doctor posting and like people get medical advice from people like this. This is some scary stuff, like seriously. So that was my rant for the day and a little bit of rain. So see you guys later.